Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are responsible for your own happiness. Happiness never comes from outside of you. You put your happiness into someone else's hands, they can take it away. Happiness can only come from inside of you, and it is the result of your love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 549, NASDAQ off 185, S&P's down 65, gold contract down $32, trading at $18.21 an ounce. We have silver down 92 cents, $20.65 an ounce, Light sweet crude, $106.33 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 21 ticks, trading 119.30. 30 year up a full point, plus six ticks at 140.26. And King Dollar. King Dollar's taking off, folks. This is wild, man. King Dollar's up 984 ticks, 104.830. Euro is out here at a price point of 103. Yen is out here at 128. British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you got a market that people keep buying. And, and let me just show you this. Here, this I just start off this with... Uh, I'm going to start this off with the arms so I can just show you something that we never should have right now. So this is the arms index, folks. See this? When you're looking at this, you get a 0.74. Um, and yesterday was a 1.10. What that's telling you, that when you get to a bottom, folks, right, what happens is that normally, see, at 2.13, what you need for a bottom is this. Inside of these five days, you need something that's running 10 to 12 if you add them up. You normally get... A 2, 2.5, 3 point, no, 2.5, 2.1, 2 point thing, and then like a 4 point something. What has happened here is this. Even though we have come down so dramatically, people are buying, man. That's what this means. When you have a 1.04, so check this out. A 1.04 and a 1.10 means that the same amount, all stocks inside the NYSE were getting an equal buy. A 0.74 means that everyone is going after the Microsofts of the world again. Okay? That's not what bottoms come down to. Sad. It's, this is insane. But that's how it shakes out. We go over to the SPY. We take a look at the SPY out here. You got, you know, it came down with volume yesterday at 386. You bring this up. We're going to put these on. You want to put all of these on weeklies now because what we don't have, folks, and we didn't have, you don't have any support, man. You know, it's like, I mean, you wouldn't even have to, you know, no technical analysis. You know, you're coming into a little bit of support right at this point, and that's bringing you back to, uh, what is that, March of 2021. But what you have there, when you match up this side versus the other side, this is telling me that this thing's coming all the way back down here, which is, that's 358. That would make sense because a 1 to 1.382 is 366. So this thing is relentless. The NDX 100, you know, it leads up, it leads down. Uh, this was a pretty clear case inside the NDX 100 that, you know, 281 is your A to B equals to C to D. And, you know, if you have time in the trade, you know that ABC structures, the A to B and the C to D, I mean, the A, B, yeah, the C to D, a straight line moves. And you can see, I'll put this on the weekly so you can see, you know, where this is, okay? I mean, it was pretty clear. You go right from the high, here's your ABC down, man. I mean, it was vicious, you know. And that, that baby lines up, and it looks like we're going to get it to that 289, and the 281 now. And the problem is, though, the bottom right here... Is at 260. So the, the, the highs of the next consolidation are 290, but because we already broke into 290, what happens is that you're going to go to the bottom of it. Now, the real kicker is, is it going to hold? And if it doesn't hold, guess what? You're going to pre-pandemic 257. 
217, no, 237, which is pretty intense. Gold, gold, ABC structure down, you know, and what you, so pitch it. This whole thing started because stocks were overvalued. You know, we've talked about, my take is that it's a reset of all assets. That's happening. Now, with the dollar breaking out topside, this is a whole different ball game now. Because now what you have is that there's going to be so many dislocations in the market because the dollar has got so strong. And that's going to put selling pressure on everything. I mean everything. So we take a look at gold contract. You get 200 and, uh, yeah, 221,000 contracts today. That's big contract volume. The A to B CD is uh, 1788, and I expect we're going to get it. And this is getting dicey, man. Um, and we go over to the good old dollar, and you see the dollar. This is a clear break. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have a failure, but what I've found is this, and you know, we've been talking about this, that the longer that you stay at highs, or the longer you stay at lows, it works the same way, folks, okay? The higher the probability is that you are going to break topside if you stay at highs, and at lows, you're going to break lower. Well, this is pretty clear. I mean, you can see what happened here. You got the wide price spread. We don't have volume on the dollar or any type of currencies whatsoever. Um, so it's a little bit tougher. For me, it's a little bit tougher because I'm so hooked with volume and price. So if we take a look at, you know, where we are, we just broke. And you're talking about a major break, man. I mean, that's, there's nothing... So when we take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see in the, the ironic part, of course, is I started the gold report right when the dollar was 120 to 121. And this is 22 years later. And guess what? The dollar is going back to visit its old friends. You can see the break here. And because we came down so fast on the dollar, that as you go up, that's what ends up happening. You know? And then if we measure this consolidation, the top of it's 103, the bottom of it is... 88, okay, so you take uh, 15 points, you add it to 103, bingo, you got 118, man. 121's the high, we're going to the high. Stay right there, folks, come right back. <laughs>